This clock is all about time distribution, which has been a key part of the observatory's work almost from its very beginning. Now, originally, time distribution was done by a visual time signal. So if you look on the roof of the observatory, we have our time ball that was installed in 1833. The idea with this is that the ball would drop at precisely 1 p.m. each day, and this would give mariners waiting down on the River Thames a time check so they could then look at their chronometers before heading out to sea. Now, that was fine if you were physically here in Greenwich and could see the time ball on the roof, but what if you were somewhere else? Now, the Astronomers Royal were always keen to take advantage of new technologies, and so in the 1850s, the Astronomer Royal George Biddle Airy decided to send out time signals via telegraph wires instead. So GMT, Greenwich Mean Time, could now be sent to railway stations and post offices around the country. This clock is the next technological leap with the advent of radio. Now, in February 1924, this clock was used to send time signals to the BBC, who then broadcast this as the six pips time signal, where the last five seconds of each hour are denoted by a beep or a tone on the radio, with an extended tone on the very last one on the hour itself. Now this was very timely because just a few years previously, we'd started to change our clocks for daylight saving. And so people found it really helpful to have these six pips on the radio every day that they could use to check whether their clocks were on time or not.